Imagine this scenario. You're currently living your life, succeeding, and have a good understanding of what happened in your narcissistic relationship. Suddenly, you receive a call, and you find yourself talking to yourself, wondering what to do, how to react, whether to respond or not, and what exactly is happening. In this episode, I will explain why this happens exactly. Thank you very much for your support. If you find this content helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for helping share this message with those who may benefit from it. It can be a surprising and unexpected moment for you. You might genuinely believe that you won't hear anything from the narcissist again because they have left you and distanced themselves. At this point, you may have started on the journey of healing from the mistreatment you experienced during the narcissistic relationship. In this situation, you try to understand what happened and question why this person is reaching out to you. You may have thought that the situation was over, but there must be a reason for this contact. It's essential to recognize that no matter how long it has been since the narcissist has been away from you or you've separated from them, they may come back and contact you again. It's crucial not to ignore such a situation because, for the narcissist, it's a significant matter. The contact could be through a text message or a call via social media because narcissists often prefer these methods. Suddenly, the narcissist reappears in front of you and involuntarily, you find yourself asking how to deal with this situation and why it happened now, of all times. The narcissist was tracking your every move, closely following you and monitoring you, even if you believed it wasn't happening. He was doing so in a subtle way that you weren't aware of because the narcissist needs to know what you're doing and what's happening in your life. From the narcissist's perspective, you belong to him, and he sees you as his possession. This possessive thinking is typical of narcissists even if your past relationship with them was a marriage or a long-term connection. Human relationships don't work this way. We don't own each other, and it's not a form of commerce. When you transform a person into something, your perspective of them becomes as something that can fulfill a certain purpose. This is not the natural way humans perceive each other, but the narcissist believes that you belong to him, no matter how far you distance yourself or separate from him. That's why the narcissist believes he can come back to you anytime he feels it's suitable for him. This belief stems from the idea that he is still in control of the situation between you two. The narcissist continues to extract something specific from you whenever he wants and needs it, but this is undoubtedly not a healthy dynamic. Many of you watch videos or read articles about narcissism, suggesting that you should immediately cut ties with the narcissist. Unfortunately, not all victims can do this as there may still be an emotional attachment between the victim and the narcissist. I'm not here to dictate what you should specifically do about narcissism, but when you understand narcissistic tactics, you can figure out what you truly need. Understanding narcissistic behaviors helps you make the right decision for yourself.